Today, we are very pleased to have CEO of Thai space company, Move Space Corps, uh, James Yembarung, join us in this interview. Welcome, James. Thank you. Good to be here. Well, firstly, uh, would you tell us more about your company? Um, for us who are not very familiar, you know, what's the scope of a company and what's your vision of the company? Right. Uh, Mu Space, uh, we are aerospace uh, manufacturers in, in uh, Southeast Asia. Uh, we are vertically integrated, meaning that we you know, uh, do the end-to-end -end manufacturing. So uh, we've been running for over four years now, then uh, staff is about 100 people and continue to scale. Mm. How is the space manufacturing landscape like in uh, Southeast Asia? Are there a lot of players? Uh, and it, how, how fast is the company growing, uh, the lens, landscape growing? Right, I think I think uh, I, we are uh, quite the first mover. I think that there's very few uh, that do a uh, vertically integrated uh, like us. Um, so we, I think in in Southeast Asia, it's, it, it's in like really uh, in, in in the early stage. But uh, uh, Southeast Asia is not new. So so we've uh, we are the, the hub for automotive industry, uh, electronics and petrochemical. So so there's a lot of uh, manufacturing that's already you know infrastructure that's already been in place in Southeast Asia. Mm. Uh, with, in Thailand, how many uh, space-related companies are there? Um, yeah, uh, well, for, for like a really a serious like space, like with 100 people, I think, I think at this time it's none. Uh, in, in, South, in Southeast Asia, there's, there's a few. Mm. Um, but but for, for us, we, we've like mainly worked with the like international players. So for, for us, you know, we, we have like really, really can call ourselves at this time, you know, we really like first mover. Mm. Uh, usually, um, you know, when we talk about space, uh, like four years ago, for example, you know, when the company was uh, still, um, you know, five people at, 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 at the starting stage, you know, it, it's it just, uh, that was like nobody. So, so that's, that's nobody to fit to us, right? So at, at this time still, you know, when, when we have to compare ourselves, you know, usually we get compared, you know, to with, with the uh, international players. So, I, I, so, so that, that, that was the reason why I said, you know, we are the first movers and, and, and uh, Southeast, Southeast Asia is still at the early stage for, mm -hmm. for uh, space industry growth. I see. So where and how does the company usually get your talent? You know, space is, of course, a very niche uh, sector. You know, where do you get talent, capabilities? And your technology. Okay, um, for uh, Southeast Asia, I think uh, Asian people. I mean, we we very super creative, and uh, we eat, um, young, and and uh, you know we have like a lot of people that that, that are really really talented in engineering uh, background. So um, yeah, yeah, for, and, and also myself, you know, I I work in the uh, aerospace industry. You know, myself, an American type uh, engineer. And I worked in the aerospace industry for for years, and then and so you know I, I was actually, you know, transferring a lot of like you know good practices and discipline you know to to a young young engineers in this region. Mm. But where where do you get your capabilities and your you know um, um technology from? Um, we, we just do everything from ground up. So mm. that, that's a lot of uh, um I would say that. You know a lot of problems in the uh, old space industry, like you know, uh, long lead time and the supply chain is long, and then a lot of a lot of work in the past has been sort of distributed, you know, across the uh, the supply chain. So so we, we kind of bring it tighter. So so that's a requirement for us to like do everything ourselves. Like we employ the majority of our workforce as engineers. Mm. So so we do actually you know designs and 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 like build everything from ground up and and go and you know like conduct the tests like for international standards or, or some some of some of them are, are much are like a higher performance as well. Mm. All, all these things like takes time and takes effort. So 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 all, all this all this knowledge has been uh, accumulated you know over the past four years. Mm. And I believe there is healthy number of engineers coming out from Thai universities who are looking for. This kind of uh, jobs. Um, yeah, that, that, that's the uh, you know um, many 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 Thai engineers um, and and also some you know like internationally educated you know re returning back to Thailand. Mm. Um, so so we, we get uh, definitely like a mix uh, of talent and and uh, being in a growing uh, space uh, industry at this time you know particularly. Uh, last year and this year, you know, we 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 have a lot of like very high numbers of applicants. 
So so we uh, definitely go for like like young like talented, but 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 we're not like we we really like equal opportunities. So so we really like mix it with like some of the uh, experience like folk. Uh, mm. So that's very good. Are, are there any government support um, in the helping you to scale up? Um, for uh, the government support uh, in Thailand, we uh, we receive the uh, the support from the the board of investment uh, in terms of um, you know like the corporate tax and the uh, the waiver of uh, the tariffs on on uh, you know like raw materials that we have to uh, export in, and 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 also the uh, the, the, the 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 heavy machinery. Hmm. That 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 we we bring in, you know, I mentioned that we vertically integrated, so you know, there's a lot of customized like machines that that we bring in. So so those those are the part where the board of investment uh, of Thailand sort of like step in uh, in exchange for for you know like number of hiring that that we you know continue to grow and and also uh, recently uh, we've been attracting uh, Australia government as well. Hmm. on on the uh, industrial uh, incentives as well you know they, they were trying to to you know like uh, uh talking to us and and see if you know that's uh, uh, that, that's abundance of resources in australia so, so that, that's what i like about australia that, that there's a certain raw materials that you know we we intended to source from them so so that that, that was the start of conversation where i was gonna say you know this 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 come to our country um nice. and for the u.s uh, as well, uh, we participated in the past with the with the uh, NASA, the uh, te technology transfers, you know, uh, small business opportunities. So, so we did we did engage with uh, you know like internationally, uh, you know, the team teaming up, some teaming up, some some just you know go at it ourselves, and some partner with the uh, you know top universities uh, mm. in, in in the US. Okay, we understand that you are planning to build a satellite, right? Um, you know, tell us more about the program. What's the satellite being used for, and what's any customers up there? Right. Um. The the satellite we are building is uh, the high power, uh, meaning that high capacity. You know, the watt per kilo, like satellites. Uh, those are the main focus. Uh, small satellites. So so we we build the class that is under the three hundred uh, kilograms. And and uh, so uh, we've been like you know actually built this from from ground up. So so that's uh, uh, and and it's it's actually really complex projects that we have uh, been working on this for you know for the pa for the past few years. And uh, the the also uh, when when I mentioned about high powered you know like we we built an assembly the our own uh, the uh, battery cell. So so we do we do have the the chemical uh, labs uh, mm. inside our factory. Okay. To, to be our own cells, uh, but the, but the early versions we, we, we did have to, to source the, the cells from from the suppliers. But but over time, you know, as the, our cell program you know be, be beginning to mature, next year we will we'll, we'll start to uh, really like migrate this like, latest technology onto our, our our high capacity satellite. Okay, what's the satellite used for? Um, uh, we focus on communication, so uh, satellite satellite internet. Okay. So it would be like a future of internet, like 2.0. I see. Uh, you know, when can we expect to see a, a, re, a live satellite uh, coming out from your factory? Um, yeah, uh, we, we do have a, a live satellite. We've we, we, we gone through the components level, I think, uh, in, in a quarter three. Okay. Uh, we, we do have an, an, uh, an, a visual event coming out where, where I think uh, the, the entire satellite is coming together. Uh, it's, it's on October eighth. Uh, mm. Well, next it's in in, in a couple of weeks. Um, so so that that's where you know that that that's numbers of parts. I think uh, the part count it's uh, really like a complex Lego. So it's really like you know a thousand parts. Uh, you know if you included nuts and bolts, then then it's pretty much like much more than that. But 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 we try to simplify everything into into like the level that is acceptable that uh, we, we want to make sure that all these things you know will go into like initial rate uh, production so it has to be uh, a lot of uh, manufacturing process needs to be simplified and and, and scalable you know that mm. I, I, for us i think building one would, would be in, in the beginning is challenging but this year we kind of like overcoming that uh, because we, we we are you know doing the components level for our customers Okay. Um, so, so we we try to to repeat and and do like you know ten like at the same time simultaneously. Okay. So with that being said, you mentioned ten at the same time. So 
what is your expected rate of production um, for your satellites? Because you recently opened a new factory, factory one. Now, what is the rate of production is going to be like for your company? Yes. Uh, yeah, the, the factory one, you know, the, the minimum like production volume is actually 10 satellites. So, so like 10, 10 satellites satellite per year. And we, we think we could actually, you know, crank, crank it up to, to like 100 oh, okay. like at, at the maximum at, at, at factory one. Mm. So you, we also read that you did some tests on a recent uh, Blue Origin uh, rocket flight, right? Um, you know, what's the objective of the test and uh, what's the results like? Right. Uh, the past few flights, so we, we conducted like uh, four flights with uh, Blue Origin. Uh, the, key, the key one is the last uh, two where, where we conducted, uh, you know, testing of uh, obviously, uh, you know, like the, the, the payload at Blue Origin is not a big one. So, so we, we, we did test the, uh, the, the, avion uh, the avionics uh, mainly and, and uh, many of this like powered and electronic systems that would actually function in microgravity. And and a lot of that learning curve, and also getting getting used to working with the uh, you know like the the the, fly ex, the real flight experience to our engineers and with the uh, the regulator things like that. So so all the entire process you know we've, we've kind of learned that, and and so so that you know the test of uh, the test results uh, that that we conducted from those flights uh, did actually pass on to the 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 uh, this uh, high capacity satellites program. Uh, that mm. they mentioned and and some we we also work with the uh you know university uh to to you know help in terms of like research and 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 now a lot of that learning curve uh has has been you know passed on to our prototypes mm. uh, you know so with that being said is uh blue origin your preferred launch partner in the near future um, we we uh, so we started out you know uh, in the past when you know I think I think that was the announcement with uh, you know Blue Origin you know we actually um, uh, did, did did all the new shepherds you know we we still waiting for the uh, new 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 clans in the future uh, uh, you know launching all these uh, small satellites you know into the constellations will require the heavy lift. Uh, so in the future, we we not we not constrained with the uh, new plan. I think I think Blue Origin still like you know I, I'm I'm sure they're putting uh, the engineering team is putting efforts to to make uh, new plan ready. Uh, but but we you know open up for for others as well. You know other launchers that that our team has been engaging with. Um. So 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 that that that's quite a few and 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 uh, up and coming young and excited excited companies that that provide a small launch. And also uh, the, the the heavy lift cap capabilities that that uh, a lot of this like new new tech company uh, new space uh, technology company has been building. Mm. So our, our relationships with the launcher is, is like super strong. So the key the key point is that uh, the the cost uh, the, the cost to weight that that we want to optimize uh, in the future. And then also you know like uh, the early ability to for us to 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 work to work with them uh, in, in 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 the beginning. Okay, let's go back to your factory one. Um, what are some of the capabilities that you can uh, produce in factory one? You mentioned that you have a battery cell, uh, of course, the assembly. What other things um, do you have at factory one? Right uh, at at factory one. Uh, so uh, for us, it's about uh, uh, the the most important is actually the satellite. Uh, Assembly the high bay clean room, so so we do have uh, that can be the um, chemical lab you know for 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 battery and then some other you know like chemical related. You know we we do we do deal with like we our, our team have uh, become kind of like you know like chemists over time, and and uh, we have the uh, robotics area you know that that do some of the uh, autonomous like systems like uh, uh, in house the. Uh, also the, the heavy uh, workshops. So, mm. so we are building out some of the, you know, like metal, metal building, uh, bendings and, and uh, some of the advanced like metal work, uh, you know, additive manufacturing also mm. in there. Okay. And, and, so, all, and of course, uh, just to, to, to scale our team like further. Mm. So with that being said, uh, you know, what is the growth for your company in the next three to five years? You know, what are you planning to achieve and you know, what demand do you expect to see from future Southeast Asian customers? 
Right. Uh, uh, currently, we we focusing on our uh, going to do this like initial production, but but we also uh, will actually invest our efforts like heavily onto the advanced uh, uh, R and D also to 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 you know to 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 tackle all these like pain points in the industry. Uh, the next uh, three to five years, you know, we uh, apart from like we we, we want our our studies actually to be our home market. And and uh, you know with with the uh, dealing with the really complex uh, like cracking the codes on the complexity of the Southeast Asia market, we after that yeah we we looking to I think expand beyond you know you you heard, you heard about the work in Australia and some in the US so so I'm I'm sure like in the future uh, of new space is going global as well. Mm. Um, probably the last question you know um, there's a lot of. Uh, activities in terms of space launch. Uh, you know, Australia are yeah, starting their own space launch uh, ecosystem. You know, do you think it is possible for Thailand or even Southeast Asia to you know ever operate a launch facility, given that it's so close to the equator, right? Um, do you think there's any opportunities at all? Um, well, for for me, it's it's possible and and required. You know, for um, space travel, you know, space travel, we need uh, intercontinental, um, you know, I think, I think connect, connection. Mm. So, so that, that, that would be a need for, for the uh, orbital uh, space for this port. That's for mm. sure. So you or think, uh, I mean, I mean, it, it, it's just an airport. So, mm. so you think Thailand, Thailand will have the infrastructure capabilities to, to do so? Um, at this time, yeah, well, the government has to be like uh, supportive and, and like, uh, you know, need, need, need to have some kind of uh, a plan and, and support that is like uh, continuous for long term. Okay. So, okay. But, but, but the hub can, uh, can, can be anywhere in Southeast Asia. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But well, hopefully, well, hopefully Thailand, but, but I, I, <laughs> I think whoever is willing to commit, I think, I think those will be a, a smart, you know, first move for, for, that, for that nation. But, but hopefully Thailand will. Um, but Australia is already going. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, we look forward to uh, your new satellite launch uh, soon. And uh, well, thank you very much for your time, James. And I hope to uh, see you in the near future. All right.